Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you about mirroring in UMake. You see here that I have the start of a vehicle design and I may want to see what this looks like with the other half of it. Now it's very common to design things uh, only ha one half at a time. So essentially if you only work with half of a vehicle design you don't have to worry about the other half and you can make a very symmetrical design in the end. You only have a certain set of curves to worry about and edit, and so it's a little bit easier to manage the design. You make luckily features mirroring, so this makes it easy to work with uh, just one half and then flip it over to the other side to make a full, fully symmetrical design. So I have this car design here, and if I want to mirror it, I basically can just select everything. So I'm going to go to the side view, use a lasso tool to select everything, and now with that selection, I can come over to the side menu here and I can select mirror. If I tap mirror with uh, out symmetry on, it's just going to flip uh, the, the curves and objects over to the other side and that'll be that. In this case, I want to choose the Z axis to mirror the design. You'll see that now that's flipped over and we have a fully symmetrical design. But there's something that's even neater that you can do with mirroring. I'm going to undo that action and I'm going to go back and select all those curves again. But now I'm going to actually turn symmetry on at the same time that I mirror. So I'm going to tap the z-axis symmetry and I'm going to orbit around like this and now I'm going to tap mirror and I'm going to mirror it over the z-axis as well. Looks the same, pretty much the same operation, but the difference is with symmetry turned on, if I modify this curve or select this curve, you'll see that the curve on the other side is now highlighted and will be modified as well. So if I tap edit and if I add another point here and pull up, for example, like this, that change is now reflected on the other side. So mirroring with symmetry is a great combination if you're looking to create just half of a design, but then you want to continue working with both halves to complete your design. Just keep that in mind when using mirroring. So that's pretty much all there is to know about mirroring. You can do it without symmetry, you can do it with symmetry, and essentially you just need to select the objects that you want to mirror over an axis, find mirroring in the side menu over here, tap on it, choose the axis you want to reflect it over. If I choose a Y axis, for example, I'll get kind of the reflection uh, thing, reflection effect, I should say. And I could just select this bottom part here and reduce the opacity, for example, on everything. So now it looks like I have a reflection. And you can use mirroring to many different extents to get some pretty cool effects. I hope this tutorial was helpful and informative for you. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. Can't wait to see what you create. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.